Hi, I'm Karen Cole Robbins, and April is a special month for me. It's my spiritual birth anniversary as well as my work anniversary. I came to Christ in 1989, 33 years ago, and I came on staff at Calvary Vista three years later, so it's been 30 years since I've been serving at Calvary Vista. So I came to Christ on an Easter Sunday in 1989. Um, I'd moved to San Diego all by myself, away from my family, and I didn't have any friends. And there was a young gal at a place that I worked at, and she was a Christian, and she was about my age. And she invited me to come and hang out with her friends, and I was just so desperate for friends that I went. And they were some pretty special people. They were meeting at the beach every Friday. They were always singing around a bonfire, they always had a guitar, and they were just talking, and they were so kind and inviting that I spent every possible moment that I could with them. And then uh, they invited me to the Easter service at Calvary Vista, and one of the girls, um, her family started adopting me into their home, and so I borrowed her sister's dress so I could have a pretty dress to wear, and I came to the Easter service. and. I heard the words I needed to hear that Jesus loved me and had a purpose for my life. So in on the far right side, in the third pew from the front, I gave my heart to Jesus. And I've been saved ever since. And um, three years after that is when I came to be on staff at Calvary Vista. It is so much easier to answer that question by saying what I haven't been involved in. Um, I haven't been involved in worship because, you know, when your pastor tells you you can't sing, that's kind of confirmation that you're not called. And I haven't been involved in the men's ministry or the sound or radio ministry. Other than that, you can pretty much say I've had my finger in some way or another of all the ministries um, that Calvary has done. I started off as the mission secretary, ended up being the church uh, secretary and now I'm the bookkeeper. I've been involved in children's ministry, women's ministry, singles ministry, uh, the missions ministry, and everything in between. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, a fun fact about myself is when before I moved here, when I was in my early 20s, I worked at a small airport at the same time I worked at the bakery that my dad was managing. So my I worked like from 2.30 to 11 at the airport and then like uh, 2.30 in the morning till like 9 in the morning at the bakery. And at Christmas time, Air Force One came to our airport and parked on our ramp when President Reagan, when Ronald Reagan was the president. And so the Secret Service were there all the time. So after I left my work at the bakery, I would drive by with all the extras and drop off pink pastry boxes to the Secret Service guys and they just thought that was great. So uh, before they were going to leave, they invited me. They wanted to just show their appreciation and they gave me a tour of Air Force One. So it was pretty cool. So uh, currently I'm in, involved in the accounting and administrating uh, capacity at the church. And I guess you could say deal of all trades. Uh, there's a lot of things that I get to do because over the years I've gotten a lot of experience in different things. So. Um, little areas here and there I get to be a part of, which is really great being on the back side of things, being able to help uh, connect the dots and seeing how the Lord even uses the practical aspects to see uh, people come to salvation. And then also I am overseeing the coffee house, which is one of the best ministries around. And if you want to be in the coffee house, we would love for you to volunteer. This is just a total selfish promotion for come and volunteer in the coffee house. And then also I get to be involved in one of the most precious but unknown ministries at Calvary Vista, which is being the memorial coordinator. And it's an honor and a privilege to do that. So that's what I'm currently doing. So answering that question is really hard because that's a long time and there's a lot that's happened in my life in 33 years. But after being saved for that long and working at the church for this long, there is one thing that hasn't changed and I can look back at my life. It's a timeline, a historical timeline, and I can see Jesus all through everything that's ever happened to me. And the only thing that hasn't changed has been Jesus. The only thing that's stayed the same is Jesus. <clears throat> he's been true, he's been honorable, he's never failed. His love is immeasurable and he's proven himself. 
So it's awesome that when times are hard or I'm questioning or struggling, I can just pull up my mental timeline and see <clears throat> God's faithfulness, God's provision, God's ever-present help in my time of need. And um, so and that's overall, when I look back on my life, I'm just thankful now that I'm at this place that I do have that proof of who Jesus is and what he's done for me. So once I got saved, believe it or not, nine months after being born again, I became a high school counselor. And Pastor Rob told me once upon a time, he really took a chance on me and thank goodness it paid off. But for the next five years, I just poured my life into the high school kids and I think I got more out of it than them. I call it my spiritual boot camp. The kids taught me so much and I, there's a couple of girls that were in the high school group at the time that are actually my close friends now and we often joke about our times of discipleship together. Sometimes I would say things and they'd go home to their moms and said, uh, mom, she said that, but it was a sweet time. We grew up in the Lord together. And then after a time, I moved on to the women's ministry and I had been so involved in the high school group, I wondered to myself, how did I miss women's ministry? It was amazing. So I simply started attending in the beginning and I also started going to big church, uh, being in the sanctuary and uh, just found a whole new world of um, people that I'd missed after being involved mostly with the high school kids. And shortly after that, I um, became a women's ministry leader in leading groups and uh, different aspects of that. And also, I just really wanted to continue to serve the Lord. So I got involved in children's ministry. And oh my goodness, I think, I can't remember how long I did that for. I, almost 10 years, I think. But um, it was really sweet because I started in uh, first grade, teaching first graders. And then they moved me to second grade, so the kids moved with me. So I had some kids that um, I had for two years, and it's so sweet. One of the girls that came to the Lord in my class, later on in life, when she was 13, she asked me to disciple her again, and we're just, excuse me, we're really great friends to this day. It's been so sweet. So I did children's ministry for a long time, and I continued with the women's ministry. And then my mom became ill with cancer. So things started to change a little bit and I stopped doing as much. And eventually I actually quit working at Calvary Vista so I could move home and take care of my mom. And um, after a time she passed away. And um, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I hadn't planned on returning to Calvary Vista, but uh, it was the day that I was actually picking up the death certificate and I got a phone call from Pastor Rob and he said, he goes, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm, you know, doing some not fun stuff. And he goes, well, how are things going? You know, good. And well, what are your plans? I don't know. What do you want to do? I want to come home. We want you to come home. I'm coming home. And so I came back to Calvary Vista. And when I did come back, um, I moved into a new position as the bookkeeper. And that was a whole new field, which is kind of a, a joke because I never was good with math. But the Lord has a great sense of humor, and I've grown in that area after a lot of training. <laughs> so as I was being um, reintroduced sort of to the ministry at Calvary Vista, uh, the Lord just put it on my heart to consider my single friends around me. And after much prayer and stirring, I just really felt a burden to do something. So we started a ministry called Like Minded in Christ for the singles ministry. And that was after actually partnering with the singles group over at Calvary Oceanside. So we were doing singles ministry together and it was a really sweet time. So in singles ministry, um, we did that for five years and it was such a sweet time and I made amazing friendships and connections. And, but you know, there's seasons for everything. So after that ended, um, I just waited on the Lord and somehow, some way, I got involved with the coffee cart in Inside the church, I think Pastor Steve asked if I wanted to um, make coffees for the staff in the morning. And so I said, sure. And well, six years later, that's the end of that. I'm overseeing the coffee house out in the courtyard on Sundays. And that has been such a fun uh, experience. Oh my goodness, the people that I serve with are so much fun. And we have a blast. And um, oh, and along those lines too, some. Uh, Back in the day, I actually used to be one of the wedding coordinators. And 
So there came a time when our wedding coordinators um, had to move on, but she was doing weddings and memorials. And so I did that, but I knew right away, I'm not called to be a wedding coordinator anymore. But I fell in love with coordinating memorials because again, it's such a precious ministry. So thankfully someone else stepped up to be our wedding coordinator and I started uh, doing the memorials. So and that's where I'm continuing at at this time.